All right, here we are, back again. So it looks like I'm in the Cathedral Ward, but it's slightly different now. Lots of items all over the place. So this is, uh, quote unquote, the past. This is way back in the old hunter days. Which is why the DLC is called the Old Hunters. That's the Beast Cutter. The other weapon that I'm like, I'm not sure if this is the longest, but it's one of the three longest. Because it's this one, that one, and the amygdala arm. Damn it, stop shooting your damn gun at me. It's like he heard me and he's just giving me the middle finger. See it. So yeah, there's hunters everywhere in here. Just normal enemies here. Alright, so. My purpose here is to grab items. Jeez, man. These doggos are crazy, yo. Alright. Old blood! <laughs> I love that scream. I probably can't fight any of these guys. They're really strong, and I'm not at the level yet for the DLC. Guys, don't do it. Don't open that door. That's not a good idea. Well, I tried to warn them. Giant Cthulhu guy in there. Can't say I didn't try to warn them. I totally screamed that out. Don't open the door. Giant Cthulhu monster. He is one of the strongest monsters in the entire DLC. He's very, very strong. There is stuff up in there as well, but I don't care at the moment. I'm not here for that. It's like a quest progression item that lets you get through the zone, uh, not like a weapon or anything. So I don't know if you can see this, but I am hiding behind a giant amygdala skull at the moment. That's what's on the ground in front of me. And even the normal guys take way too many hits for me. So he's set to just stand here and look at you, and if you over to fight him, the gun here will shoot you. <laughs> so that's the, that's the big trap in this spot right there. So this spot is one of the more annoying ones to get through because you gotta wait for all these guys to walk over because there's not enough room over there to get through so if you try to just run through you'll get hooked on them 
and you won't be able to get past. You gotta wait for them to come out and get out of the way. And that guy has uh, one of the new DLC weapons. It's called a boom hammer. So it's got a little um, flint in the back, and you like whack it with your hand, and it lights it. And after it's ignited, it will explode on the next swing. It only lasts one swing, unlike the other weapons that you know they have a little bit of a duration. That's the transformation button of that, though. All right. No, 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 no. Don't want to play. Why are you chasing me, you? Oh my god. It shot me mid-roll, that first roll, and that screwed me. It took way too much health off. Damn it. I was like, there. The other side of that bridge is the shortcut that leads back to the bonfire that I'm about to resurrect at. Oh my god. And then the world of Gigsaw is just beyond this area. <sighs> All right. There's not much I can do about it. I'm way too weak for this area. They kill me in two hits. Yeah, man, I'll leave those guys to you. You show them. Let's all kill, kill each other while I go this way. I still get all the souls for it though. The blood echoes. Oh, it bugged out. Do you see that? It's broken, but it's still standing there visually. <laughs> that was spooky. I really felt that, like, creeping up my back there with him swinging behind me. Don't mind me, guys. just want to open the shortcut. I don't care about you guys. Leave me alone. There. Okay. I don't care if you even kill me now. It's open. That's all that matters. This is a uh, hunter. Sort of. It's Simon. Unless it's something of an interesting nightmare. 
Yes. So that's Simon. Um, you can fight him and kill him. And he drops his bow. Simon's bow blade. Which is a sword and it's uh, transformation. Instead of transforming, like these ones do, it transforms into a bow. And you can shoot arrows. Each arrow costs one bullet to shoot. Pretty normal. It's quite, quite good. A lot of people consider it to be one of the most overpowered weapons in the game and one of the items that breaks boss encounters more than anything else. Because it lets you stay at a considerable range away from the boss and just pepper them with arrows that do incredible damage because the damage of the arrows is based off of your weapon. So it does full weapon damage at a range. So it's very safe to use against a lot of bosses and it's considered to be overpowered for that reason. So there's a lot of weapons here. There's some weapons down at the other end of this, uh, the Blood River, which is down that way. And there's weapons at this end of the Blood River up that way. And I'm trying to remember where, I think the two that I want are this way. I know the Whirly Geek Saw is, and I think the uh, Safe is as well. Or the Scythe, or whatever you want to call it. This is a difficult one. I had to get to that ladder right there on the left. But this guy's right here in the way. That's the whirly gig right there. See it from here. It's right there. But you can't get there from here. Can't get there from here. And the Beast Hunter safe is right there. Or Scythe, or whatever you want to call it. I think it's pronounced Scythe. And there's a red eyed hunter right there who has the safe. Now I'm back down here, and I gotta get back up the ladder again. Go, 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 go! There's a lot of stuff going on down there. Okay, I got it. Oh. Now, you definitely want to run through this area quickly before the guys come out, because it's one of those Cthulhu dudes. And behind him is another Cthulhu dude. This one's different, though. It has a gun. A cannon, to be specific. <laughs> so you don't want to fight those guys. And I got the next lamp. Two bloodstone chunks. And there's a red eye hunter right up there. Who will kick your ass? That's fine, because I'm here. Came out of one of the uh, sewer holes there.
Whirly gig saw. Got it. All right. Pretty much done in here for what I was going for. Let's get the hell out of here. I could go get like the amygdala arm. Uh, man, that's quite a uh, adventure to get that though. I don't really plan on using it. So I'll show you guys the Whirligig Saw. One of the coolest weapons in the game. In any of the Souls games. So it's got its normal form and its transformed state. So normal state is just like a, a small club that swings quickly. Nothing spectacular about it. Nothing to be like, oh my god, look at it, it's crazy. But it's a quick swinging blunt weapon very nice and then you got like the transform state now it's a saw the saw turns on and spins as you swing so it counts as serrated damage which does 20 percent extra damage to beasts so it's very useful against fighting beasts uh, its most powerful ability is probably its uh, L2 button. So you press it and you hold it. And as long as you're doing that on someone, they're getting uh, like dazed and knocked back over and over and over again. And they're just like, uh, 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 uh. And they're just taking the damage. And they're unable to effectively fight back against you. So, oh wait, I can't. I have to fortify it first. I've only got three Bloodstone Shards. So I need another 13 Shards in order to upgrade my Whirly Gig. Which means I gotta go fire more. Which means this episode is done. I'll come back next episode. I'll have my Whirly Gig all fully upgraded. I've got a decent number of Twin Shards as well, so I can get it upgraded with that as well. Yeah, I can upgrade it to 5, so it will be the same as my best one. I've got a couple Bloodstone Chunks. I could probably go in and get some more out of there and upgrade it to uh, a 7. As soon as I get some more Twin Bloodstone Shards. But I'm just going to leave that to the point of the game where I'm supposed to get them. So, I'll see you next time. I'll have a Whirly Gig Saw that is set with fire, and it's all ready to go. See you then.